Hey, what's going on guys? So good to see you today, man. If you recently subscribed, thank you so much. It's been like quite of a journey since last video. So last video, I reviewed this Ronin SE versus the Weibo Lab and kind of compared it a little bit. But today we're gonna actually focus a little bit more on Ronin SE and maybe dabble a little bit on Weibo. But I asked you guys on the video, what lens you want me to test out today? So there was one comment that had like nine likes. Thank you so much, Brian, for that comment. So first lens we're gonna test out today is this Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter. This is an interesting lens because this is a very popular lens for Sony. On Ronin SC, the eyepiece is actually supposed to hit the back motor when you balance it properly. But I actually studied this a lot this morning and I got it so it does not hit the back motor. I'll tell you guys how I did this at the end of this video. But first, we gotta test it with the model. We need a model. Um, all right, I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Zach and we're gonna get this going. Let's do this. All right, guys, so this is Zach. So Zach is a dope photographer. He's gonna help me out today. Um, this video actually is partially sponsored by him because the next lens we're gonna test out is actually a G Master lens. And yeah, it's, it's actually his lens. So thank you, Zach. I mean, I, I can't afford that lens yet, so I can only rent it. He already had it, so perfect opportunity. So check his website out, guys. I'll link it in the bottom and his Instagram. But check this out, guys, right here. This place is so good for gimbal tests straight leading lines i mean like if the gimbal shakes a little bit you can really tell so the next footage is no slow-mo no warp stabilization all it is straight from the camera so let's go All right, guys, so I'm out of breath. Are you out of breath? No. No, this guy's in shape, I'm not. So next up is 16 to 35 millimeter F2.8 G Master. This is Zach's lens and it, it's heavy, guys. Um, so this, I know it works on Weeble Lab. I'm not sure how it's gonna do in Ronin SC, but let's test this out. You ready to run? Ready. Let's go. Let's do it. I got that thing. Oh, okay, so that was 16 to 35 millimeter test, guys. And I have to say, uh, from the look of it and from the feel of it, yeah, so speed walking to running, this is kind of the limit of Ronin SC, guys. Um, I probably wouldn't go heavier than this. Uh, so that 24 to 70 millimeter, uh, yeah, it, it's out of commission today. Yeah, we don't, we don't have it right now. So that will not be in the channel at the second right now, but uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get it later, but I don't think it's gonna be even like really practical with this. Cause look at this, like this is how much room I have in the back of this guys on the 16 to 35. I mean, yeah. So 70, 24 to 70 is 200 grams heavier than this lens. It, I don't think it's practical for the size of the actual mount on here. So uh, that's that. But right now we're gonna try some cool moves with the Ronin SC, so check this out. All right, guys, so here's what I learned so far. YouTube video doesn't go as planned sometimes, so I am so sorry, Brian. I couldn't get that 24 to 70 millimeter, but I was able to get this 28 to 75 millimeter Tamron lens from Lens Rentals, so I am happy about that. But even more happier is that I am able to go under slow mode without actually having the eyepiece hit the back motor on this. So all you gotta do is hold down the trigger button and then just go reversed, and then there you go. So you got your uh, under slow mode that way, and while I'm doing that, it doesn't hit the back motor. That's one way to do it. So I'm gonna come back. You can come right back, double tap, and you're back to normal. Or you can go under slow mode by kind of doing a tilt under slow mode this way. And that way you also don't have to hit the back motor on the eyepiece either. So that's kind of cool. So I'm happy to tell you guys that. And so let me show you how I actually balance this. All right guys, so here's how I was able to balance this 28 to 75 millimeter uh, without actually having the eyepiece hit the back motor here. Um, and it's pretty well balanced. I mean, it's not perfect. So as you can see, yep, there you go. And it does not hit the back motor. So here's how I was able to pull this off. So I'm gonna take this plate off so to show you guys. There you go. All right, so if you can see the screw here, I mounted this quick release plate as if this lens was actually a smaller lens. So as you can see, it's on the second notch. The center of the screw is in the second notch as if this was a small lens, 
but here's how I was able to do that. You know how this ship with this tiny little screw where basically it goes on the side so you can kind of slide it in and you can kind of remember that's where your plate was. So yeah, that, take that off. You don't need that because that's what's going to stop it from actually balancing this properly. So I took that off. So that's step two. If you can also see it, I have this plate way far back to kind of balance the big element of the lens here. So this extra metal piece here sticking out does help you balance this a little bit more. So that's three. Fourthly, you want to do is take the screen out a little bit, kind of in parallel to the actual eyepiece. So this extra weight in the back does counter a little bit more towards what's basically a larger lens in the front. So if you do all that, this lens does actually balance without actually hitting the back motor. Awesome. So my final thought on this guys, um, if someone to ask me, do you like Weeble Lab better or Ronin SC better? It's a tough question because I think both really, really good gimbals for small mirrorless cameras. But when it comes down to just running gun style, like ready to go gimbal, yeah, Weeble Lab is definitely the top dog here. Because uh, the reason why I kind of ran out of time shooting this is that every time I changed lens on this, I had to go into the app and like calibrate it. So that took extra time. And then also if I wanted to do different modes on here, um, my phone was like running low on battery, it kind of made me nervous. I couldn't switch different modes. I don't have the Acephora control module here, so I needed my phone to actually have the fourth option of the mode here. Uh, without the phone, it would have been almost impossible to switch that. So that's kind of drawback on that. So if you're kind of like run and go, like Weeble Lab is probably the best right now for this kind of mirrorless setup. So I would actually recommend Ronin SC for people who already have a large gimbal with large capacity, who wants a second gimbal for travel who is much smaller. Uh, yeah, I would recommend that person this one. So those are my thoughts, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it didn't go exactly as planned but as long as you learn something new that's you never seen before yeah that, that will make me happy so until next time guys see you later I got that thing I got that thing